So in this video, I'm going to talk about styling, custom styling for key clock. So I, I assume that you're already familiar with the key clock and uh, you, are, you know at least the basic things of key clock, what it is and all. So we'll try to log into key clock. So here we go to the theme section and the, we see like just two custom themes here, right? So we'll try to add a new theme and we'll try to style it. So before we do that, let's see the setup which I have on my machine. So uh, I'm using Docker. So you can or you cannot use Docker, but I think Docker provides a lot of flexibility. So this is the Docker file. It says that we start from JBoss version, uh, which is like JBoss key clock 11.0.3 version. And we take the user as a root and we say that the current working directory is slash. So what we do now here is we add standalone uh, .xml, so which I have here, like within config, I have the standalone uh, .xml. So I put this in this location, which is JBoss key clock standalone configuration and like standalone.xml. So this is basically replacing whatever was there with what I have here. So if you're not using Docker, you can just replace it away into key clock, right? And then I have an entry point, which which comes with key clock, like this file already comes inbuilt. So I could just say docker entry point.sh and this is how key clock would be started. So this is how we I build key clock. So all I'm doing is right now just adding a standalone.xml, like I'm replacing whatever was there with my custom standalone.xml. And the reason for that is basically we want to, so key clock applies theme and all, so we want that uh, the theme and there should not be any caching and all so that whatever changes we do, those are immediately shown. So I did change some of the things. So like I did static max age this minus one, cache templates as false and cache, cache themes as false and same for cache templates also as false. So whatever changes I do now, if I just reload my, if I just reload the screen, they should be available right away. So make sure when you're doing the development all you have those but when you go live make sure that they are restored to the old settings or like the right settings which you want so this covers the standalone.xml now we could see i have a make file which is just a helper file for me for executing some of the commands so if we see the make file like all it's doing is i could use docker build which builds my image and then i could use docker run so this is for running the container so right now i'm running i'm binding my local host port 8080 to the 8080 port of the container so i named the container as uh, key clock testing container and uh, i set the username and password for the admin user and uh, and uh, this is what i use like i want to run it from this from this tag so robin nagpal key clock theme and then i just give it as latest if I want to say docker delete, this is like I just want to remove the container. So let's run now. Like I would just so I was already running the key clock, right? That's why we we saw it like the UI. So I'll just try to build it once again, just to show as I, as you see docker build is here. So I could say docker uh, make docker build. So this is make file. It's just a helper. So since the image was already built and all, so it says like it has already built it. Right? It was very fast. And now I could say make uh, docker run. So it says that I run this command docker run. So it says this is already there. So I'll just need to remove the container. So the container is deleted. So I'll just run docker run again. So make docker run as I ran. So I'm just using the default H2 database. I'm not using any other configuration and all. So we would see that uh, the key clock server runs and that is what we saw on the UI. So here I have the file system of the Docker image open. <coughs> so in the image, uh, the stuff is placed at slash opt jboss key clock. But if you're just downloading key clock, only key clock, you would just have that this 
and everything that lives within the key clock that should be the same right so let's look what is within key clock so we will see there's a folder that is themes and within themes we have base which has which is the base uh, themes and then we have key clock right which is like the overridden theme and uh, so so key clock has four set of uh, pages on which themes could be applied one is account screen where you can modify the email password and all right changing of the email this is email and all and next is the admin screen and the other is login so for our project we are just dealing with the login and account so i i honestly don't know too much like what exactly and needs to be overridden in these two but yeah we'll talk about login today so <clears throat> if you see like key clock like the theme that key clock uses right and if you go to login so we also have to do we have to so in themes like if we want to create a new theme we have to create another folder and we'll see that folder uh, being like the name of that folder being shown in the selection of the themes and uh, so the key clock theme overrides the base theme right so we could create a theme that overrides the key clock theme or that overrides the base theme so let's see how key clock itself right because it has two sets of themes how how the second set of uh, theme which is key clock how it overrides the base one so if we see here the base is key, uh, like the it says that the parent is base and then it says that styles it want to apply css slash login which is here css slash login dot css right and uh, if we so it adds some bunch of images and all which we should hopefully see somewhere referred within the styles and all or like within the image within the css so if we see css here like we see these images which is referred like key clock uh background png and all so mm -hmm. So this is how key clock itself, the theme that we use in key clock itself is overridden, right? So now uh, we will create a custom theme that we will over that will extend from the key clock theme. So I will now add a custom theme. So let's add a folder custom. So within custom, we'll create a page for login, like a theme for login. And uh, within login, we'll create theme dot properties. And we could do this by just following whatever is done, like within the key clock theme, right? So this is key clock theme. You can just have a copy it, just like I've copied it for my reference. And then, um, yeah, and then use it, right? So here we have the theme dot properties and what we'll paste in theme dot property is is that the parent which we want to use is key clock and the style sheets we already have key clocks like if you see here so in key clock we already have login.css so we want to use it and then we want to use our own custom.css so in order to add like use a custom.css first we'll add it so resources and then CSS Uh, sorry, it should be a folder CSS, and then we'll add the CSS dot properties here. Uh, sorry, custom dot CSS. And now, what I'll do is I will just paste a style here, which uh, maybe let's do it blue, some some other color, so just so it's more identifiable. So it should like the background. On login page and all it should be blue so what I'll do is I'll just restart my key clock so I have like I said docker delete and docker run which just uh, like mounts and every so here I'm mounting the volume right so underscore I say hyphen V in docker volume so again like if you're not using docker you could just copy your custom theme within the themes Right, which is what I'm doing here. So once it runs, if we see how the container looks like now. So if we see the files, we would see we would go to OPT and then JBoss and key clock. And within that we would see themes. And now within uh, here we see the custom theme and we see all that properties and all. 
right so let's try to load the ui and we should see the login theme like we should see a custom theme within the login theme so i load key clock now right just the default i log in admin admin so we go to the themes like again realm we go to the themes and here said if we just add the login theme we would see a custom there right but in the other cases we don't see a custom theme so we just save it and now when i log out right so we see the blue color applied as the background and this is the same color that we applied when we were like if you see the code here so this is the same color that we applied in the code so if you for some reason if you just need to override uh, the actual template so you could do it by if you go to the base theme base theme now so we go to login all right and here you should see login dot like free marker template so we copy it and then we can paste it here within login all right so like this is kc form and i'll just rename it to kc form 44555 something and when we like if i reload now and we should see that this is the id that would be seen in kit in uh, inside the browser right so this would be reflected so if you see now we have a kc form this is i'm just loading the old one and now i have just deployed my code i'll reload and since I, i'm just starting from fresh again like we'll see it go back again and we're going to use this the default theme let's switch it to custom it's seven hours and now when i log out we do see it right and if we see the form here we see this four four five 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 right this is the like this is the id that we added within the form if we see here right so this is how you could copy the template and if you want to override the template you could do that but one thing we have to be aware of is when we are modifying the template when we upgraded these changes we have to make it like in the newer version of the templates because there could be additional changes which we might not be aware of so let's recap what we did so we created so i had copied like the base and the key clock theme in my project just to keep a reference right how i think they're there but this is what gets deployed the custom folder so we have to copy the custom folder into the themes folder of uh, key clock once we copy it we would see a new theme appearing and uh, there are four sections of themes which we saw the ui one was login my account email and admin so we are just overriding the login if you do it for the login you will see a custom theme appear there and here we created a login a theme dot properties which mentions that the parent theme is key clock and the styles is it needs to take both the css files like the login one and the custom css and uh, if you see the custom css this is the one you have so if you want to now override more stuff like the recommendation which should be that uh, you try to see what all properties because like if we, this is the key clock themes dot properties so if you see here like this is we go to key clock login and uh, this is theme dot properties of key clock so just pick the property you want to override pick the class you want to override like you want to override the container class so you copy it right and paste it there and then uh, you can just add whatever value you add like maybe one two right and then you could just add the new property like the new uh, class here and then use it right so in those cases like the changes are quite limited and even if you upgrade key clock and all you should not have any problems so again like overriding of the template should be the last thing so first you should try to do that through these custom classes and a custom css whatever you want to achieve yeah so that's it i hope this is helpful for you